This video is a selection of the new and updated features we're excited to share with you from the November 2023 release. The full list of features can be found in the November 2023 version 20.23.11 release notes, which you can find on Brightspace Community. This month we're highlighting the following features. Users can now copy announcements to other courses in the Announcements tool. Course Reset features an improved interface for detection of in-use courses. With local authentication security, new role permissions allow users to perform local logins and set up two-factor authentication. The Quizzes tool provides a deduction option for incorrect answers. And finally, a summary of all the other features this month. Let's take a closer look at this month's features. This feature adds the ability to copy announcements to other courses when the new permission Announcements Copy to Other Courses is enabled for the user role. Users must be enrolled in both the source and destination courses with a role that has the new permission enabled to copy announcements. A single announcement can be copied to multiple course offerings. Copying an announcement copies the following attributes. Headline, display author information, content, including any associated file such as inserted images, start and end date, attachments, and pin state. Navigate to Announcements and open the drop-down menu of the announcement you wish to copy. Click Copy to Other Courses. Select the course or courses you wish to copy to, then click Next. Click Copy and then click Done. The Announcements feature implements the following pie item. D10642. Send announcements to multiple courses at once. Thank you to Tom Cobb and all those who put forward this pie suggestion to implement this feature. The Announcements feature is available to all clients. To enable, ensure that the new permission Announcements Copy to Other Courses is enabled for relevant user roles. This permission is disabled by default. Course Reset has an updated interface that displays more information to help users better determine if they are resetting the correct course offering. This is intended to help prevent accidental course resets which cannot be undone. Semester and department information is displayed alongside org unit ID, course code, start and end dates, and active status, ensuring users can see that the correct course is being reset. A new dialogue warning provides key information about the following. The number of unevaluated assignment submissions in the course, the number of unevaluated quiz attempts in the course, and the number of users who have accessed the course in the last 14 days. Based on the course information, users can cancel the course reset to review before continuing with the reset activity. The Course Reset feature implements the following pie item. D6257, Course Reset, Warn About Student Submissions. Thank you to Sue Taylor Owens and all those who put forward this pie suggestion to implement this feature. The Course Reset feature is available to all clients and is automatically enabled for all users with the Course Management Console permission See Course Reset. This feature adds a new set of permissions when an administrator enables local authentication security for their organization, allowing for easier control access to local login and two-factor authentication. Administrators can enable the following local authentication security permissions. Disable allowing local login. Users are unable to log in locally to Brightspace. By default, all roles have the ability to log in locally. Make two-factor authentication available. Users can optionally configure two-factor authentication when they log in locally. Can override users' local authentication security setting. Allows administrators to add overrides from the Users tool. This feature also provides two new search filters in the Users tool, two-factor authentication status override and local login access override. Select your user profile and click Account Settings. Click Enable two-factor authentication. This requires Google Authenticator installed on your device. With Google Authenticator, scan the QR code and enter the code into the field. Then click Check Code. Back up your code, check the I backed up my code box, and then click Enable Authenticator. Previously, access to the Local Authentication Security page was provided to roles who had the Manage Users and Configure Config Variable permissions. Users with these permissions, and Local Authentication Security enabled, have Can Override Users Local Authentication Security setting enabled automatically. 
Existing users added to the allow list have been migrated to be an override instead, which works in the same way for a seamless transition to the new settings. The local authentication security feature implements the following Pi items. D7839, create API route for adding allowed users for local login. D7891, local allow user list bulk create tool. D8525, allow two-factor authentication for local logins. And D7838, two-factor authentication logging, lockout period length, and notifications. Thank you to all those who put forward these Pi suggestions to implement this feature. The local authentication security feature is available to all clients. The ability to log in locally to Brightspace is automatically enabled. Administrators may optionally enable the Make Two-Factor Authentication Available permission. With this release, instructors can optionally set a quiz to deduct a percentage of a question's point value for incorrect answers submitted. This feature applies specifically to question types that can be auto-graded, for example, multiple choice and true or false questions. The only question type that can't be auto-graded is written response. To ensure that instructors can view accurate quiz statistics, question statistics are also updated to account for this new functionality. The following differences may be present in statistics. Point by serial results may be lower when negative grading is enabled. Standard deviation has a wider distribution to account for negative grading. Questions with a negative average score appear below zero in the gray distribution graph. As an instructor, navigate to Quizzes and then select either New Quiz or select Edit from the Quiz drop-down menu. Expand the Evaluation and Feedback accordion. Select Deduct Points for incorrect answers and enter a percentage value in Deduction. As a learner, when starting a quiz, you should note in the summary page a warning about point deductions for incorrect answers. During the quiz, if you are unsure of the answer and want to avoid the negative grade penalty, you can clear your answer from a question by selecting Clear Selection. You can only click this once an answer has been entered. The Quizzes feature is available to all clients. To enable, ensure that the d2l.tools.quizzes.negativegrading configuration variable is set to on for an org unit. D2L recognizes that negative grading is not required to gauge mastery of concepts. For this reason, this functionality is set to off by default, and is provided only as an option for those that require this method of evaluation to meet organizational standards. Note that if an instructor imports a quiz with deduction percentage set, but negative grading is not enabled, deduction percentages are stored and displayed when the negative grading is enabled. Finally, let's take a quick look at the other features for this month's release. Review key assessment information when publishing evaluations in both assignments and discussions. In Data Hub, Brightspace datasets improvements for November, along with a suite of three Brightspace datasets for Media Library. View summarized results in Migration Log with an improved interface in LTI. Display email in User Selector with Manager Dashboard and Learning Groups. And lastly, choose default group and section restrictions with a new discussion creation experience. We hope you enjoyed this month's release highlights. As before, you can get the full details of this month's changes in the November 2023 version 20.23.11 release notes on Brightspace Community. See you next month!